Since the beginning of the Israel-Hamas war sparked by the October 7th terror attack, Gaza has experienced 130 days of nearly nonstop gunfire, bombing, destruction, and death. According to the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry, more than 28,000 Palestinians have been killed and 68,000 injured as a result of Israel's assault on Gaza in response to the October 7th Hamas attack, which killed 1,200 people. President Biden has called Israel's response over the top. However, he and lawmakers on Capitol Hill are pushing for billions of dollars in more aid for Israel. Now, the U.S. State Department says it is looking into whether U.S. weapons were misused in any instances where civilians were killed in Gaza and whether Israel's military operations violated international law. We do seek to thoroughly assess reports of civilian harm by authorized recipients of U.S. Uh, provided defense articles around the world, including under the civilian harm incident response guidance. The guidance, also known as CHURG, was created in August of 2023, weeks ahead of Hamas's deadly attack on Israel. It aims to give the State Department a way to investigate incidents where U.S. weapons may have been misused to harm civilians. While it is unclear when the State Department triggered the guidance, sources told Reuters the U.S. is actively looking into 50 incidents of civilian harm. That process is not intended to uh, uh, function as a rapid response mechanism. Rather, it is designed to systematically assess civilian harm incidents and develop appropriate policy responses to reduce the risk of such incidents occurring in the future and to drive partners to conduct military operations in accordance with international humanitarian law. Still with $14 billion set to head to Israel if passed in the House, it is unclear how any CHURG findings will affect future aid to Israel. The guidance is also separate from State Department probes into crimes against humanity or genocides. Still, the State Department says too many civilians have been hurt in the war. We have seen civilian deaths come down uh, from the levels they are. They are nowhere near where they should be. They're uh, still far too high. There's still far too many Palestinians that continue to die. Earlier this month, President Biden issued a memorandum requiring any countries receiving assistance from the U.S. follow international humanitarian law. It also requires the State Department and Defense Department to report to Congress any instances U.S. weapons or funding was used outside of international law or in instances that result in civilian harm. On Tuesday, South Africa turned once again to the U.N.'s International Court of Justice to look into whether Israel's attacks on Rafah breached the UN Genocide Convention. The court last month ordered Israel to take all measures to prevent further Palestinian deaths to ensure against claims of genocide.